Hello and welcome everyone to Dropped Frames, a very special edition. Uh, as you can see, um, we have some new people and all of the regular cast members are gone. So what happens is uh, Zeke is actually at the Play Live Summit right now, um, helping out with St. Jude's Hospital, which is awesome. Ko is actually catching up on some well-needed rest. He's quite sick. He's got the pack po Pax Pox. And uh, JP is dead. I killed him. He's in the basement. So thank God. Facts. Yeah, Facts. I know, right? Um, <laughs> so who do we have with us? Well, we've got Dodger, aka Dex Bonus, aka Press Heart to Continue. It, what I, you know, all your names. So all, all them. All them. All yeah. Like how Dude, many? <laughs> watching watching Zeke dance made me want to dance. I know. I'm like I just want to be like time. Be like, what up? I'm Dodger. Not I'm really excited to be here. Yeah. And we've got uh, Renee, aka Lol Renee. So Hello. Carlton. It's actually like a thing now. You actually have to do the Carlton. Because I'm pretty sure you didn't do your like dance off that you said you would. <laughs> and you've got Casey Tron, aka Casey Tron. Oh my god, that's, hi. That's easy. <laughs> 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 and me, I'm Shannon Zed Killer. I'm your host for tonight. And that's actually Zed, not Z. I am Canadian, so say it right. Oh bitches. boy. Damn. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we're going to start off by doing basically what the guys do every other week. We're going to talk about what we've been playing and what we've been watching and just catch up and everything's going to be like we are bearded white men because that's the joke. I can't wait. Um, <laughs> East, right? I, that's actually I was what just going to say, oh, I yeah. my like, just, can you I imagine if you actually had a beard this red? red? Yeah. Um, that totally is, I should actually probably inform everyone. So that actually was the joke. It was mentioned at the Drop Frames panel at PAX East that, uh, pa that Drop Frames is mainly hosted by white guys with beards and all of their guests have beards typically, except for I think Chris because he's really sad and can't grow a beard. Um, so <laughs> <Sure>. that's <laughs> and we're just going to basically ruin all of that for you guys and uh, you'll just have to imagine us with beards. So um, maybe we should start off with uh, talking about what you've been streaming. I actually don't stream. I just help out in chats. So I'm going to just let you guys take the wheels. Would Dex, Brooke, would you like to start us off? What have you been streaming this last week or so? Well, I've been, guys, I've been like so into Final Fantasy XIV. <laughs> like way too ham on it. Because Sam was like, we should play. It's pretty fun. The expansion's coming out. And I was like, I fucking hate MMOs, but sure. And then I played it, and now I am addicted. I'm, like, full-on so addicted to that game. I am a shirtless cat boy who hopes to one day be a white mage. <laughs> I tuned into your stream earlier. I was like, oh, he's super cute. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah. Um, I went, like, full-on just not ever wearing armor on my top half at all, like, just always being shirtless. And then I started uh, nearly dying in dungeons a lot, and I was like, okay, we're going to switch it now that I can't be in dungeons and shirtless until I'm level 50. I can be out, like, on the town shirtless, but if I'm in dungeons right now, I have to put on a shirt and, like, <laughs> so that I don't die and I don't drag everybody down. But super fun. That game is really fun. The class system is interesting, I think, because, like, any trade that you want to do... And any class that you want to do, you level all of it up exactly the same way and you work toward jobs. So like right now, I want to be a white mage, but I have to have a certain level in multiple classes in order to become my my full on white mage self. So oh, kind of crazy. Fun. So it's kind of like university where you have to have like a lot of different like, uh, you know, electives in order to yeah. get your degree. That's nuts. I actually, <laughs> I, I blame you for JP playing this the last few days. Like he's, yeah. he's lost to the world. This is yeah, all anytime, I, anytime I'd like check my follower list. I'm like, oh, what are they playing? It's always like the last like three days. It's been like Final Fantasy. <laughs> Dude, yeah. So and I tune them and I'm like, I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of how it was for you. I was watching. Hey, it's fine. Yeah. And then there's something about getting a mount. Of, this is apparently like a big momentous occasion oh. when you get a mount. So well, I got I got my chocobo. He's precious. I named him Okosan. And I'm going to ride him forever. <laughs> I got him literally at the end of my stream today. So I have yet to truly bond with Okosan, but one day. One day he and I will be best friends forever. And then one of us will die in battle and the other will cry over the body. Like That's that my dream. Me. Yeah. 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 What else have you been playing? Uh, I saw you also play a little bit of Hotline Miami. Did you see me 
screaming while playing yeah. Hotline Miami. <laughs> okay. Just Hotline Miami sure. is pretty rage inducing for yeah. sure. Dude. I uh I don't know how far I am in that game. I think that I'm maybe like three quarters of the way, but shit, that game too. Yeah. That game, the longer I play it. It's another one of those games where I just, I want so badly to beat it. Like I can't walk away until I've beaten the level that I'm on, but sometimes I just get stuck in, in this same cycle over and over again. And I keep trying to do the same thing and it just doesn't work. And I'm like, no, I can make it work. And I just keep dying and I get so angry. <laughs> <laughs> have you completed so like you're about ha uh, you're about three quarters of the way through have you haven't completed so. the entire game yet I just um, finished watching man versus game played a few days ago and he completed it and then he started looking through all of the unlocks to try to get more achievements because he's you know a hardcore he's that guy yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's that guy um, he's that man and yeah it was uh, it was pretty funny watching him just like oh get so angry and then at the end oh wow we completed it okay time to make ourselves more pissed off you know right so, yeah it's totally one of those like games you. Yeah, yeah, he he stuck with Wings of V. I gave up on that game so fucking early. Oh my god. <laughs> well, we don't please. I'm like having like I I have like like PTSD watching man play Wings of V. <laughs> like there were so many times I'd just be sitting there watching and then like he'd get like super close and I'd be like, nobody fucking say anything in chat. And sure enough, well, someone will be like, oh my God, you're so close and it'll fucking like lose. And I'd be like, no, oh, God. <laughs> it was yeah. like the most like I got just as mad watching him play that game and then probably he did. It was that game i can't handle uh, it i'll yeah, never yeah, play it anytime right. i'm playing a game and in chat somebody's like is this the run this is going to be the run <laughs> they I'm always like, jinx it say that, <laughs> say that. <laughs> yeah what about you casey i know that uh i know you stream a lot of league but do you play anything else maybe in your spare time <laughs> um i stream exclusively league at an insanely high level um in my spare time and on my sub streams last week i streamed city skylines Oh yeah, it's a real oh, fun game. That's yeah. really fun. I tried Hotline Miami, but I did not get very far with it. <laughs> um, and then I played a lot of Ori in the Blind Forest. Oh yes, it's a real oh, good one. Too. Yeah, it's very beautiful. Yeah, I like the. Um, it's got that sort of like braid feel to it. You know, it's pretty peaceful. It's kind of the opposite of Hotline Miami because it doesn't induce your rage. It actually kind of just like chills you out. I don't and know about that. It's very relaxing. <laughs> I don't know about not in inducing any rage. No? It's a no. Right? I haven't watched anybody play it or anything. It is, yeah, it's a platformer, but there are some pretty, like, like you. D it's one of those platformers where you're going to die a lot because there's a lot of, uh, you know, like, just ma basically you have to make, ex make mistakes in order to progress. And there are many, like, I, JP was, like, watching me stream. And I was, there was, like, a certain part that, like, you just have to, like, work really fast because, like, the, the level is, like, filling up with water. And uh, I get, I got so mad, like, I, and I kept like dying like the stupidest ways. But there are some like ragey moments. I wouldn't say it's like a very difficult game, but um, there are just like moments where like if you mess up just even slightly, you're it, it'll punish you for it. But the yeah. art style really reminds me of like Fern Gully. Do you remember that's Fern what? Gully? Yeah, yeah. I yeah. Dang, during my stream, I was like, oh my god, this is Fern Gully. Hex yeah. is in that tree. That's like all I kept talking about. It's very nostalgic looking. Yes, like, it like, is. I think that's kind of why it feels peaceful is because it's got this like look to it that is quite open, even though it's a side school, like well, side scroller kind of thing. So you know, the, the music in it is is beautiful. Like the music yeah. is incredible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. The the look of it reminds me a lot of Trine as well. If any of you yeah. played the Trine games, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very similar. Cool. Um, I also saw actually. Dodger, did you stream Tormentum? I know you uh, like we were talking about it in Skype. I, I played the whole. I played all of Tormentum on stream. That game's oh, not really? that long, but you. I think there are four different endings. I got. I messed up. Because <laughs> that's that's another <laughs> game that I found like the art style is something completely different, but I thought it was absolutely stunning. Like that was yeah. actually what pulled me towards it when you mentioned it. Uh, Dodger what's, recommended it to me in Skype. What's the name of the game? Tormentum. It's a oh. it's a point and click puzzle game, but it's like in the style of kind of like HR Geiger or Geiger. I said Geiger around somebody who is a super nerd, and he was like, "Excuse me, um, <laughs> in the future you should probably know." I mean, I know everybody calls him Geiger, but you should probably know it's actually pronounced Geiger. And I was like, "I can't." But anyway, <laughs> like you, it's, you know it's who I'm GIF, talking about. Not GIF. Okay. <laughs> oh, don't start Talk with yourself. that. No, don't. Yeah. But, uh, Okay. Yeah, the the <laughs> style of it is pretty cool. Oh man, he's showing like my actual. I mean, the ghost of JP is showing my actual yeah, of stream of me playing it. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, 
it, that game is pretty cool. It's it's pretty simple. It does really nice things like I hate playing a, a point and click puzzler where I'm constantly thinking, oh my god, do I have to go all the way back there and possibly like did I miss something like way back and I have to go all the way back? The game's really good about when you're done in an area, it makes it so you can't go back. Like you go through a gate and it's like, don't fucking come back here. You can't come back through this gate. Or like I was in a mine and when I left the mine, there was like a, a landfill. I don't know what it could be called. A cave in perhaps, but it made it so you couldn't go back to the mine. So it helps you keep everything straight. Like, okay, what I missed has to be right here. Like I have to just focus my efforts right here. So yeah, like, it, yeah, it looks like really, that. really cool. I, I cool. like. I really like the the art style of it. Yeah, you the try one it. thing that I felt about it was that actually it, it reminded me a lot of Machinarium. If anybody has ever played that, mm -hmm. did you did you play that ever, Casey? No? no. So it's it's um it's kind of like a puzzle game, and it's got the same sort of feeling to it. Um, but except that I think you can go back in some of the areas. But yeah, so yeah, Tormentum. That's one that I think is a good short afternoon like little game to play. Um, actually, I wanted to ask you, Casey, um, I know you play exclusively League on stream. Is there yeah. a reason why you don't stream any other game? I know you I play some in your spare time, but... I usually play League in my spare time now. I go back and forth between League and Hearthstone. I used to play World of Warcraft all the time in my spare time, but that's kind of died out and became a lot less fun for me. So I usually just play League and Hearthstone. Yeah, that's pretty much my game. Hearthstone. Yeah. Yes, yes, I love Hearthstone. I just ordered Black Rock Mountain today for the sit card back. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I've spent okay. so much money on Hearthstone, I'm terrible yeah. at it. So. That's actually <laughs> so I bad spent, at Hearthstone. All right. I have spent hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars on that game, and I'm still trash. You're not getting the right RNG. Dude, no, RNG is. Jesus <laughs> fucking hates me. But I just love spending money. That's the thing. I was actually going to ask that. You've got to be all really honest right now and tell us how much you've spent on cards because I just started uh, playing Hearthstone like this last month or so and don't tell Chris, but I've already spent like fucking $150 on cards. <laughs> I've, I've spent, I've spent um, close to, probably close to $500 on it. Oh <laughs> yeah, I'm up. I'm oh up around five hundred dollars. Yeah, I'm so ashamed. Yes. <laughs> I bought okay. I bought dude. I bought Naxxramas, and then cards. I've only ever spent donation money. Like if somebody donates money and is like, "I want you to open cards with this," right. do it. I've I've done that, I but I that. haven't. I haven't spent any of my own money on cards. Because I know it's a slippery slope. Yeah, it is. As you are all proving to me right now. <laughs> well, that's the thing. Is I, that like, you, you I start like with make, one. And I make excuses for enough. it. I'm like, oh, well, like, oh, I didn't go dye my, I did, I'm going to dye my hair myself. I'm not going to go to the salon this month. So I have $200 <laughs> to spend on hard stuff. Wow. You are <laughs> I didn't get stuff. a latte today. So that means I spent <laughs> around 100 bucks on hard stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just like ramps so quick. Oh, uh, fuck. Yeah, it's one of those things. <laughs> How long have you been playing Hearthstone for, Casey? I've been playing Hearthstone since since beta. Yeah, since beta. Oh, wow. Okay. So yeah, I'm I've been playing it for quite a while. It's, like, really my game that I like to play for fun off stream. <laughs> you do, like, arena at all? Um, I usually just do ranked. Yeah? Yes. Yes, I usually exclusively just do ranked. I don't do a lot of arena. Please teach yeah, me how to be I, good at that game. Yeah, <laughs> that's the thing. I'm terrified of doing the whole arena thing. I, I'll be honest. Uh, people terrify me. So, yeah, that's... I can't do it. What about yeah, you? There, was a, there was a point where I was talking with Hafu, and I was like, Hafu, you should teach me how to play. And she was like, okay, but I'm going to be really mean. And I was like, no, oh, then no, fucking never it. mind. <laughs> never mind. I don't want that. Hafu is actually... I heard her talking about it, and she's actually the top 20... Are we, no, I think the top five Hearthstone Arena players, like, in the world. Yeah, she's she was like, talking about how Blizzard keeps track of it, and she's, like, in the top five, which is just insane. She's the only it. streamer, I think, that's even, like, in the top 100. Yeah, and, like, good for her. She's amazing, yeah. yeah. Yes. She's, she's been playing since day one, too, right? Yeah, she's been yeah. playing, yeah, for a while. Yeah, that's the, that's the nuts thing. It's one of those things. I get, back in the early days of it, when it was first released, uh, 
like in beta. Uh, that was one of the challenging bits about being over in Europe. Uh, so over here, nobody was able to play. You ha you could only play if you were based in the USA. Um, mm -hmm. And that was a real challenge because obviously Chris wanted to play and he couldn't get access for about the first three or four months. And that, that bit of time was actually all it took for several streamers to get so much extra experience playing it that there the meta was, was already created. <laughs> yeah, it was nuts. Like these people yeah. just, they just took the world by storm with Hearthstone. Obviously like Crip and, and Trump, like they were just absolutely mental with, with playing it. So getting, uh, getting a stream base or getting just experience in the game became a challenge for anyone outside of the USA. So I don't know. Beta I think it's was crazy thing. how big it is. Just like whenever, I remember whenever Blizzard re released it, it was like Heroes of the Storm was like the huge thing and they put so much emphasis on Heroes of the Storm, which is kind of a flop. I don't want to be mean, but it's pretty much a flop. And then like Hearthstone just blew up and they like kind of have it over on the side. They're like, oh yeah, we just released this turn-based game and now it's huge. It's like Blizzard's like huge thing. I yeah. don't know. Have Has everybody played and or seen Overwatch? Mm. I didn't get to Sorry. play it at. Uh, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't get to play, get to play it. like the new characters or anything, but that's okay. the sound I make when I think about Overwatch. I just, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Casey, Casey, <laughs> Casey, you didn't get to be at PAX when uh, you when you sink your teeth into Overwatch for the first time ever. It is, it's an experience that shouldn't be streamed on Twitch. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> Inappropriate, okay? Like, I'm well, just like, gonna put it out there. That's that's how it was for me. We went to BlizzCon and I tried it, and I just couldn't be removed from the lineup for the next like six hours. Uh, and then the same thing. Uh, I wanted to play it a lot more at PAX East, but you know, scheduling just didn't quite allow for it. But it was absolutely phenomenal. I am so excited for that game. When I, is this yeah. supposed to come out? Do we I know? Say I don't think ever. Has there been September? any 16? talk about it? Fifteen. I, uh, I mean, right now, I feel I wouldn't be surprised if it's 15 because it's already pretty polished for being what, like, yeah. not even in beta, I guess technically. Yeah. Or, well, that like, I wouldn't that's be the thing. surprised. But. It feels like it's done. Like you play <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, it does. Inventions, and it feel it's got that Blizzard polish, right? It's mm -hmm. got that feeling of just. Oh, like it's 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 a masterpiece already. At least that's how I feel. And, I mean, you know, I guess getting like emotional over it, but <laughs> just, I just I really love Overwatch. It's beautiful. <laughs> you know, but I guess okay. I think their their biggest issues right now are balancing the new characters for sure, yes. and then also the thing that everybody keeps talking about is problems with everybody rolling out as the same person. Like it's it's the same issues that happen. Like if you play TF two a lot. And you start fucking flipping every table in the world when the entire team rolls spy. Then, like, imagine that, except so much more frustration when, like, everybody on the team suddenly turns into turret guns and you can't fucking get anywhere near them. That's true. Like, I mean, it is a legitimate strategy, power. though. <laughs> it, is, it is, but it there are those those sorts of things that where they're like, okay, but there has to be a way to get through any strategy, right? Yeah. Like, they can't yep. make it so that there's one strategy that's just foolproof and you can run the clock, you know? Yeah. So they have to figure how to fix that stuff. All right. Every time I've every time I've played that game, I, like you know, our entire team has just been always been like multiple like different types of characters. But yeah, that game I'm so excited for that game. I've never been so excited for a Blizzard game ever. Because I'm really not yeah. a Blizzard sort of person. I don't I, I never played WoW girl for the or, longest time and now I'm just like, I don't know. Yeah, I, I never played Blizzard. WoW. I tried to play WoW, and I, I just I got sucked into it for like a little bit, and then I just got over. I can't do MMOs. I just I was sucked into that game for eight years of my life. Oh yeah, my and that's God. a pretty common story. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude, that is a long time. I, so, how's your recovery process going? You know, do you go to meetings? Are you okay? <laughs> it's it's you're going pretty League. Well. <laughs> yes, yeah, now I play League. <laughs> Hearthstone, yeah. Hearthstone's yeah. just another form of crack. It's all the same. So let's be yeah, let's cool. be totally honest with ourselves. Um, yeah, so that's that's one thing. Um, I also noticed okay, Renee, do you you always play something different when you're doing like the fucked up Fridays or uh, you know, shit face Saturdays. Uh, yeah. you were playing Call of Duty, I noticed. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> do you I have like, like a serious mm. addiction to that? I just want to. <laughs> I used to. I used to. Like, I got my 
start in the community on YouTube from like playing MW2, like Modern Warfare, like that was my shit. And I played that. I have like 55 days of playtime in that game, which is like nothing compared to eight years of World of Warcraft, obviously. But for Call of Duty, yeah, that's that's kind of like my thing. That's like I do a stream like every Thursday. It's, it's not super regular yet, but I'm, I'm starting to do like every Thursday. I just kind of do like a, a wreck the VOD stream. Where I just play Call of Duty and listen to like copyrighted music. And it's it's a super <laughs> like chill, like it's a super chill stream. Like I don't like put on like the crazy show. It's just basically just a way to hang out and chill out with my viewers. And sometimes I get to like come into the game and play and stuff. But yeah, I, I, I love Call of Duty. I don't play it anymore though because the latest ones are all crap. Oh, I haven't right. played it bad since at MW2. Every shooter, <laughs> every shooter in the world. Has I'm bad at every shooter except for MW2, which is why it's the only <laughs> one I play. <laughs> I'm terrible at everything else. Like, well, that's the thing is that uh, there's another major shooter that just dropped this week, which is Battlefield Hardline. Has anybody even touched that oh, at all? Yeah. yeah, not at all. Yeah, we played that on Fucked Up Friday with Zeke, and he hated it because Zeke hates video games. But um, <laughs> called out. <laughs> but uh Shit. yeah we played that on on fucked up friday and it's it's a lot of fun i don't i don't like battlefield very much because i i i it's too big and i need like more action i feel like it's a lot of times like you spawn in and you, like you, you walk for like several minutes and then you just get sniped and that's just irritating okay. but uh battlefield hardline is is a lot of fun it's 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 really cool if you like you know you you like battlefield but you wish it was a bit more action-packed and a bit like more fast-paced that's battlefield hardline for you yeah, yeah, that's true. Well, I, I mean, Chris loves it, but I think one of the challenges with it is that people feel it's very overpriced for what it is. And to be fair, I kind of agree with them. Like, I mean, it definitely yeah, does feel it, just like a, an expansion, a DLC to to Battlefield Four, uh, and f charging full price for a game like that is just. It might be fun. It might have be more stable than Battlefield Four, but it definitely doesn't feel like it's. Yeah, someone in chat saying that Lyric got a refund for the game. That's really. I mean, there oh, you go. Damn. So you know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think it should have been released on its own, not as a Battlefield game. That's I don't know. Well, because I feel it, it's like it would have done a lot better if if they hadn't called it a Battlefield game. I, it still does play like Battlefield, though, so I think that's fair. But putting a acting acting as if it's like another Battlefield standalone, that's not fair. Yeah, right. I wouldn't say it's DLC, but I I would still not put like a sixty dollar price tag on it. That's I don't gotcha. think that's fair. So the other thing that uh, I was just reminded about actually uh, that's coming out later this month is Legacy: of The Void beta. Oh god! Is anyone planning to play that? Another game that I'm oh. fucking terrible. The only at. thing I care about is Bloodborne. Okay. <laughs> Dude, yeah, yeah, Bloodborne comes out next Tuesday. Next. I March twenty fourth. March 24th. What, what, everybody go to your calendar. Th that's Tuesday. Tuesday! Okay. Good. Yay. We figured no, out. Sure. That's good. So, yeah. I mean, that's going to be pretty huge on Twitch for a while. That'll have its moment, definitely. Mm -hmm. um, I, I know about... I'm not sure if I have the patience to play something like that. I mean, it's the same reason with why I kind of... I very briefly tried Dark Souls, and then I just couldn't. I just... <laughs> I don't have the discipline to play games like that. It's, yeah. Yeah. I I I played I played Dark Souls until I got cursed and I quit. And wow. Now the game doesn't even want to turn on doesn't doesn't even work on, want to work on my computer. So I'm calling it a wash. <laughs> it's saying, telling fuck you that off. game. But I'm really excited for Bloodborne. Um, I played all of Dark Souls two, not the none of the DLC, but I played through to the end of just like regular Dark Souls on uh, on stream, and that was super fun. That's another. It's like Hotline Miami for me, where I'm just yeah. like. Fuck! I can beat this guy. Just, w just one more shot, and I can beat this guy. Yeah. And normally it winds up being, you know, like thirty more tries, and then I finally beat him. But, Aww. yeah, I'm totally, I'm totally down for that masochistic bullshit. Mm. I'm in. I love it. But yeah. StarCraft, StarCraft, I love to watch. I don't love to play StarCraft. So I'm excited for the Legacy of the Void because I think that the games are going to be interesting once it like starts getting put into the esports rotation. But I'm not. I'm not, like, excited to play it. <laughs> I just wonder if it's going to go the way of um, Heroes of the Storm. The, like what Casey was saying, like, that game is just not Lock. really existing yeah. on Twitch. Yeah. It's, I don't know. It looks good. It just, I don't know what it is. It just doesn't seem to have any staying power. I, well, 
I know a lot of people who really like to play it, but I don't know if it's that fun to watch. Mm. Maybe. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the problem is there. Sure. Yeah. I've never watched StarCraft in my life. I don't watch any esports. Like none. <gasps> Dog, StarCraft is so <laughs> StarCraft true. doesn't make any fucking sense until you've watched it for like eight or ten hours and then I've you're like to, I I've, suddenly I've, understand. Yeah. <laughs> I've <laughs> gone to like MLG and I've like watched it and people get so hype and like there are just moments where something super like just seemingly like useless happens and the crowd just goes nuts. I'm like, I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> I'm like, I get so stressed out because everyone around me is like, you can feel the energy, but I'm like, I don't know what's happening. Like, why do I feel like this? I actually really got into esports because of Hearthstone. So when we were at BlizzCon, we actually watched a lot of the tournaments and the finals where that 18 year old guy like won. And then he's like, Fire maybe bet? I could invite oh to gosh. parties Fire now. Yeah. I was so Dude, happy he won. Right? Like, so I, I was really... He's such I, a good guy. And I had no idea who he was. But I was cheering for him so hard. And I, I didn't understand what half the cards were. So I was just kind of like, okay, cool. He played a card. whoop de doo Like, <laughs> But the, the energy of the crowd is so palpable in esports that it's kind of like getting into pro sports, like actual pro, like, physical sports. You don't need to get everything. You don't need to get all the rules. It's, it's like a gateway drug. You just, you feel it. And then it's electric. And that, that yeah, Hearthstone is what pulled me into esports, I feel. Yeah. Last year. For, for me, like, even though I didn't understand what was going on, being in a crowd while watching StarCraft made me want to understand StarCraft. Because, like, like Renee was saying, like, everybody's so hype and like mm -hmm. tense and just ready to lose it at any moment and when they did lose it it was like a sea of people losing it over whatever the shit is yeah. happening on that monitor right <laughs> but after that you remember that energy even if you don't understand what really went on so yeah i went home and i was like i want to watch more starcraft i still don't fucking understand it but i want to watch more <laughs> starcraft and now i love to watch it and i like mostly understand what's going on there's still some times where they're like Oh no, so and so is coming up from behind around that thing to get the minerals from the other guy. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> well, he did some kind of like crazy move that he totally didn't think was going to oh, pay off, but it whoa. did. Oh my God. This guy has a bunch of stuff that's flying, and the other guy made it so everybody rolls. Who will win? <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. Who yeah. will win? That's how I feel when I watch, when I watch League of Legends, too, because I've, I've, I've played League of Legends <laughs> like a year. But I, I exclusively only play Arams, and I am like shit tier even at Arams. So like I, I will like play whatever shitty champion. And I'll do terrible at it. But I still have no idea what I'm watching when I watch like League of Legends esports. But I like I'll watch it, and I'm like maybe this will make me a better player. But really, it just makes me more confused and generally probably a shittier okay. player because I like see something happen. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna try that, and then I like go and do it, and I just <laughs> like fuck it all up, and then it's I don't know. Oh, there we go. Uh, that's actually a really good question. Uh, Casey, do you find that if you ever watch like League of Legends esports that you learn something that actually helps you as a player? No. <laughs> I, I, I agree that's with because Casey, that's that's because extent. Casey's already too good. So yeah, she yeah, learns so nothing well, from so. it. Um, I don't know. Like whenever I watch League of Legends, like as far as, um, in e esports, I, I think that's one of the most inter interesting things about League of Legends and why it's so successful as a game in esports is because it's so easy to watch it and I think it's really easy to know what's going on um, despite how much you know about the game. Whereas like, like I used to watch World of Warcraft Arena and if you have never played World of Warcraft you have no idea what's going on and why something is good because there's just so many different things to it but I think that's one of the things about League of Legends and what makes it so successful in esports. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I could see that. I mean, I guess with the with League of Legends, it's a it's a little bit easier because it it has been around a lot longer than say Hearthstone or uh, even Dota. You know, um, so it feels like it's got a little bit more staying power. The community is obviously absolutely massive, massive, right? Like it's it's the number one game in the world. Like that's mm -hmm. that's nuts, right? So yeah, but I mean you kind of can't ignore it when there's an 11 million dollar prize pool for a game or 10 million dollars or 4 million dollars like yeah uh, it's, or it's, every it's, time you go to a convention literally every cosplayer is a league of legends character uh, yeah. <laughs> and they do league of legends yeah. cosplayers yeah. take over so hard <laughs> i'm like it's not except that i've yet i've yet to see a good blitzcrank amazing. cosplayer man <laughs> 
fair. Like Blitzcrank is like my only, the only champion that I actually care about and the only one I play it like. I, I don't play shit tier Blitzcrank. I play like trash tier. Just slightly above Do you play Blitzcrank tier. in bronze? Dude, I don't because I'm not even he, gets ranked. he gets banned every game in bronze. <laughs> yeah, I never. I don't, I don't know how to play against him. So like, let's, I think let's I, I, I think I've played. I think I've played ten normal games, but I'm level thirty and I've done A Rams the entire time. I, that's all I do. Oh my I'm, gosh, we should duo queue together. <laughs> do you need to carry <laughs> him? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I'll just I'll just be Blitzcrank today. and I'll just be fucking cheesing it in the bushes. <laughs> That, okay, let's just all play. Let's all let's all queue together. Hey, no, I'm 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 saying right now, like as host, I've got some kind of power, right? That's that's what I've got some kind of power. So yeah. totally, that's a thing. <laughs> it's Renee, just happening. KC, you're you're God, together. Jesus. <laughs> God, I'm so terrible. I haven't played in months, please. <laughs> Me either. I haven't played in probably like a year and a half. <laughs> so. Yeah. Wait, Casey, do you yell when you teach? Yes, That's I thing. yell all the time, all oh. the time, no matter what. I'm a very okay. So I'll just, and I'm I'll just, trying to keep it down right now. <laughs> I'll just okay. cry a lot. It's fine. <laughs> that as long works as you don't too. mind, that works as long as you don't mind my my crying, then it, it'll be yep. fine. We'll be good. Tears. Um, tears. we should probably move on. We've we've talked a lot about Boo. games. Uh, let's let's <laughs> let's talk talking about talk other about streamers anymore. We'll talk about other streamers. We'll talk about who you've been watching the last like week, you know, two weeks, whatever. Because obviously we weren't here last week, so we don't have to hold by their rules. Ha! So, uh, you know, streamers of the moment, people that you love watching when you're not doing anything else. Um, for me, uh, I'm just gonna go first because I totally want. I'm just like excited as all fuck. Uh, <laughs> so, boom! There's his link. That's Sir Twiggy. That's my bud. He's also Canadian. He's actually a Newfie. So Newfies have this really cr like crazy sounding Canadian accent. I'm not even going to try to impersonate. Oh, like happened. Newfoundland? Yeah, Newfoundland. Gotcha. I was like, Newfie? <laughs> it's a Newfie. <laughs> yeah, you said Newfie, and I'm like, what the fuck? I don't know what the fuck it is. <laughs> Sorry, it's a Canadianism. Um, but yeah, he is uh, absolutely amazing. He streams a lot of Project Zomboid. He actually uh, is currently in the UK as well, and he's really good friends with the developers of Project Zomboid. So Project Zomboid's this amazingly unforgiving, crunchy survival game. I It's probably in my top three favorite games of all time. And he is the, you know, the second coming for that game. He, he I mean, like, there's no one better to watch, to learn from, uh, for how to play that game than, than Sir Twiggy. And he's extremely interactive. Uh, so I, I tend to watch a lot of that uh, because I, even though I've been playing Project Zomboid for a long time, like years, I I still suck, and there's a lot I could learn, especially in terms of like um, dealing with entire hordes of zombies. We're talking like literally hundreds of zombies on the map, and you're facing off against all of them, and he can take them out easy peasy. He doesn't care. Um, so I learn a lot from him. They're also constantly upgrading the game, so he always shows off what the newest stuff in the game is. So that's definitely been something that's been on my uh, on my screen lately um, because I I need to get back into Project Zomboid. It's been probably about three or four weeks since I've played. So, yeah, that's for me. What about, uh, what about Dodger? Who have you been watching? Uh, nobody knew. I hadn't, honest, like, being totally honest, I hadn't watched um, Ko very much, and I've started watching Ko more. Um, yeah, and... I don't know. Other than that, I normally like <laughs> I normally switch on like JP because I know he's been playing Final Fantasy and I'm like and you're <laughs> doing Final Fantasy and I'm like a <laughs> big nerd. Yeah. Um I like to do I don't know. Do you guys ever do like essentially Twitch roulette and just like choose a game and just be like who's on here that has like one viewer and just yeah. like see if you can find a stream where you're like this person's entertaining. Let's watch this. So yeah, I've been dude. doing I do that fairly often. I was trying to do that with City Skylines, but a lot of those streams, I don't know. It's not a super fast-paced game, <laughs> so sure. it would be silent people playing that game. But yeah, you guys should do Twitch Roulette sometime. Everybody watching right I do now, that do some Twitch all the Roulette time with Hearthstone. Find new people. Like, yeah, I do. The same I'll hang thing out with in a Hearthstone Fallout. stream, and then like next thing I know, without even saying anything, they like moderate me, and I'm like, oh, uh, cool. Crap. <laughs> crap found out like, uh, you're just like 
I don't want to be your mod. And then you just leave. <laughs> oh, God. I hate I like being mod in streams. I like lurking. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, I hate when, like, I find, like, a small stream and it has those bots that, like, welcomes, like, with you when you're, like, a lurker. And oh, it'll be like, gosh. welcome, little Renee. And I'm like, oh, and I just close out and I leave. <laughs> oh, I'm like, out of there. <laughs> like, it, I'm like, oh, shit. I do that sometimes, with Fallout 3. Uh, like, I'll, I'll look for people playing Fallout. You like show up on somebody's stream and you're the only viewer and you know that when you leave they're going to they're going to know that you showed up and then immediately left. <laughs> I'm like oh, I have to stay here for a while. Oh, no. <laughs> I need so to like bad. make like a secondary lurk account that nobody knows them yeah, on. That's yeah, that's a good idea. Actually, uh, yeah, an alt is sometimes a good thing to have or even just like an incognito browser if you're going to be lurking like sometimes yeah. Sometimes I do that, but yeah. That's sorry, fair. Casey. You were you were saying uh, you really like also doing Twitch roulette. But um, what games have you been doing Twitch roulette for? Like random, just like clicking in. Oh, I just always watch Hearthstone streams. Hearthstone yeah. streams are like my thing now. Yeah, I watch a lot so, of Hearthstone. If you're if you're a Hearthstone streamer, you know, doesn't matter how many viewers you have, you might end up having Casey. You might, to yes, you might have <laughs> moderate her. Yeah, always <laughs> mod her if you see her always there. Moderate her. Always mod Casey Tron. <laughs> What about you, Renee? Who have you been watching lately? Um, I've exclusively been watching JP because I just like to talk shit on him in his chat. I don't, I don't even care what <laughs> game he's playing. I don't care what he's doing. I just sit in his chat and go tell him to fuck himself for hours and hours on end. So there's probably been multiple times where Renee and I have been in chat at the same time, just being dick wagons. <laughs> earlier, earlier today. Hey, I was just like, I turned on his stream and I hadn't said anything yet because I was in the middle of doing something. And all of a sudden I just hear him going, what did Renee say? And like, I haven't, I hadn't said a word in the chat, but wow. some other viewer saw me in the chat and was just like, I was just like, oh, go fuck yourself, Renee. And he's like, what did Renee say? I'm like, I just haven't even said a goddamn word. I've just been <laughs> sitting here minding my own business. And yeah. Doing my fucking That's, thing. Yeah. <laughs> he just gets mad. Well, while we're busy plugging all of the original cast of Drop Frames, I'll just say that if I wasn't actually usually getting up at uh, 8 in the morning right now, because obviously I live in the UK, so it's a different time zones, normally I watch a lot of Zeke. I am part of Zekonia. I am a huge fan of Zeke, especially watching him play uh, Darkest Dungeon and anything that makes him rage. So Dude, I, like, I like watching the smashing of... The Zeke uh, rage is good. Yeah. Zeke did so good as the Twitch host. At PAX. He did. He was great. Crazy. Every time I walked by, well, we were like right next to the Twitch booth, but every time I walked by, I was like, <laughs> I would st I would stand there for a while because he was just being entertaining and all that. He's really good at it. Like, Casey, mm -hmm. did you see any of the um, the PAX like, uh, coverage that they did for Twitch? I didn't get to watch a lot of it. Yeah. I can't remember why I didn't specifically, but I didn't get to watch <laughs> a lot of it. I remember watching Serious much Gaming stuff. a little bit. <laughs> Okay, cool. Yeah. yeah. So um, Zeke was like, this was his first time hosting. Mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, his first time hosting. Yeah, I, think, like, I know officially. he did like, a couple things at PAX South, but yeah, they're. I think they're going to have him back for more stuff in the future, or at least I hope so. I mean, they should. <laughs> really, really outgoing. Actually, okay, so this would be really cool. I, I love watching ragey streamers go up against each other for things. So... Mm -hmm. If anybody from Twitch staff are watching and you're looking for some content, can you please get Casey Tron to go up against Zeke for something? Because <laughs> the rage would be so loyal. <laughs> you know, I just love it when streamers rage. And you both you both have that kind of like ragey quality, you know, like you're always yelling at your game or whatever. So I would just love to see that. That would be awesome. He's 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 big into that as well. So <laughs> I would like really to cool. see I would like to see to see Zeke play League of Legends. Yeah. Yeah. Do you oh, think he what? would? Does he ever play? No, he probably would absolutely <laughs> There's never There's some do people it. that just like despise <laughs> League of Legends and they will just never play it like no matter no, what. We would yeah. we would have to pay him massive amounts of money. Yep. For yeah. Him to do and, that. And he would have so to have a smoke life. break every five minutes because I'm yeah. <laughs> just, just chain so smoke on stream. Straight straight up, whatever. Yeah, just out. <laughs> every time he dies, just smoke in the time that it takes him to res. Yeah. Yep. Yep. All right. Uh, well, I think we're going to head to our first break, actually. So, because uh, all of us ladies have tiny bladders. So, <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I had to do something that was going to make fun of us. So, yeah. Um, we're going to go for a break and we'll catch you back. And when we come back, we're going to talk about our main topic, which is obviously females on Twitch. Ladies. Yeah. <laughs> 